I'm doing here, I'm marching for justice. We're on our way to Jefferson City to say to the state of Missouri and to the world that what happened in Ferguson cannot be accepted. We're saying that we are human beings, our black young men are human beings, and we want them, they're not a huck, and they're not a demon, they are human beings that a life was taken, a family is grieving, and we have not gotten justice. And that's what we're marching for, is for justice. Welcoming him to our neighborhood out here in Gray Summit, Villa Ridge. We live out here. We walk for about two miles with him. What is your name, sir? Lloyd Kleindenst. I'm Susan Cunningham. I live just south of Pacific. And I do remember the civil rights era of the 60s and 70s. I used to teach American history. And I find a lot of what's going on today to be very similar, very similar. And I really wonder how much progress we've made, especially when I read some of the comments on the blog of the Missouri. I am just so proud of these people. I'm just so proud. There's so much hope now. I hope these people can start a real dialogue and we can solve some of these problems. It's just not right. I, as a white person, am privileged. I have never been stopped by a policeman and asked me whose car I'm driving. That happens all the time to my black friends. It's not fair. I work Carmen Watkins, and uh, I'm with the NAACP, the National Office, and uh, we're, we're walking to the governor's mansion in Jefferson City on behalf of police reform and, you know, tranquility to our communities and communities across this country. And it's important. It's important for all of us to join in, and we're just very happy to have um, people who we've picked up along the road who feel our passion, folks who've come from all over the country who understand this and and, and want to make change and so we hope the governor will be receptive and this legislative session will yield some real results for the folks in Missouri. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to get this on. 